Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Monday night, 9 o'clock, and you know what that means. New Music Mondays starts now. Let me know how the sound sounds to you. <clears throat> what's up, JJ? It would be good if I had the right thing hooked up. <laughs> it's always interesting here, right? Give me one second, everybody. I'm thinking I'm hooked up, but I'm hooked up just to regular audio, and that's not what we're trying to do. It's all good, though. That means it's live. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let me know if you can hear it, and if it sounds loud enough. If not, I'll make it louder. All good. We're back. New Music Mondays. We got a great show for you guys. Let me know if you can hear me. What's up, Vera? What's up, C Styles? My man, Chris. What's up, Andrew? Let me know if you can hear me. Tell me if it has to be louder or lower. All right, cool. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, we got a lot of people in the house tonight. Too, Cliff. I'm learning TikTok. <laughs> I fall to pieces when I'm one with you. To see the look upon your face, my world stops turning in your eyes. There's no place I'd rather be than to be here when we're both in me. A world without you would just make me blue. A broken heart without a trace, my body's burning. If we try. Bank Heaven, and uh, we got a great night lined up tonight for you guys. You know who's going to be here or on the live. The one and only Niaja. So uh, we got a lot of new music to play. Don't forget, the new Niaja is out now. We're going to talk more about that, but you know, while you're waiting, why don't you go on iTunes and download it, all right? Add it to your playlist.
All right. You guys ready for some more music? Make sure you invite people to tune in. We got another new song coming out. Coming up next. And uh, it's by my boy Jesse B. It just came out Friday. So if you haven't heard it yet, you're going to hear it here. And make sure you support it. Go on, download it. Download it, put it on your uh, playlist, Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. All right, in a little bit, we're going to play a new new freestyle mega mix that I created. And after that, we're going to have Niasia live on TikTok. We got Jay Allums in the house. We got Team One Us, Miss JJ on there. We got Cheryl Rodriguez. Uh, we got Cliff Potts. All right, Faye Saad. We got Jenny Renee. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. We got Manny Mann. We got Manny Munez, DJ Paradise. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great night, guys. So you guys ready for the new Jesse B? Let me know so I can play it. Let us uh, let me get some hearts or something on going on here. Let's go, people. Because then I won't play music. All right, here we go. It'd be good if it played, right? did it wrong here we go this song is called because it's you jesse b new release is out right now came out friday so you know what to do go support freestyle baby new music monday should i put it a little louder it sounds low here Yes, 
Jesse B is in the house. What's up, Jesse? Shout out to Jesse B. Michael Anthony. DJ Stacy. Susie Marie. Queen Girl 2117. New Music Monday. Oh, yeah, you like that? You know what to do. Support it. Go out and download it. It's available on Amazon, iTunes. It's a great song. We're going to have Jesse B live here um, in a couple of weeks, so I'll put more information on that. I know you guys are feeling that. Nice beat, Jesse. Uh, you know, so continue putting out those songs, man. So we got another song I'm going to play, and then we're going to go into a mega mix, and then we're going into some Niasia. We're going to play her new song also tonight. So make sure if you haven't gotten it, you know what? Don't wait for me to play. Why don't you download it first? How about that? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Next is up is Deneen. Out my body. The artistic remix. Hot record right here. Bernardo Sierra in the house. Thanks for posting the song. Denise out my body. my body it's available now it's been hitting since the summer great song great vocals uh the production's all right right what do you think <laughs> that's the artistic remix um that's available so get it itunes you know put it on your spotify playlist or your apple music playlist it's a great song someone posted a really nice tip for me to type the name of the artist and the song i just don't see where to do that on here so i gotta figure that out maybe i'll have a tablet here with that going on so I can uh, let you guys know how to look for the music because sometimes we can pronounce things a little weird and spell differently, but I'll make sure I'll do that. 
All right, thanks for that. So we're going to go into the new school mega mix. It's a short little mega mix. Again, I don't claim to be a DJ. I just fake the funk. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I used to DJ back in the days with my boy Michael Anthony, but I did a little mega mix here, some new school um, music, and I want you guys to take a listen. All right, so let me know what you think, and then for that, now, we're going let's to get this party up. started. Hey, yo, you're now listening to the sounds of Mixmaster Mix Willie Valentine. Shout out to Janine. I thought I shouted you out. Too bad. Much love to you, Janine. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you soon here. My promise that I won't let you go. 
Jasmine. Dennis, don't stop loving me. That was a new school mega mix volume two. So it featured a lot of new songs, right? Um, and it's important that we play a little bit of everything. Um, I have more songs to play during you know, the rest of the show, but I wanted to make sure that I played these songs as well. So I'm going to make these available on YouTube so you guys can you know, listen to it there. Um, again, I'm not a DJ. I don't say I'm a DJ. I just, you know, I like to play around with it. I used to DJ back in the day, so. Um, so I'm about to bring on a special guest, which you already know who it is. Um, but I want to give shout outs to everyone for coming in tonight and joining us and hanging out. Um, it's a special day. So um, it's the release of the new Naija Walk Away. So it's number one on iTunes. I, th I think it's still number one on iTunes. I haven't had a chance to check while I'm on the show, but it's been on since I went to bed last night and I saw it number one. So congratulations, Naija. Um, it's hard for me to call her Naija because I know her real name, <laughs> but uh, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Um, give a shout out also to Deneen. She's going to be on this show, I believe, on the 17th or so in two weeks. Um, so we're going to be playing her new song uh, produced by Jay Allums. I did an edit club mix. Love the record. I know you're going to you guys are going to love it also. So a lot of good music coming out. A lot of good music. All right. So, without further ado, i got to pull out this plug here, right? Because that's the way to do it. Uh, thank you, Jesse B., for giving the tip to do that. <laughs> All right. So, now, again, guys, I'm not great at this, so i got to figure out how to do this. i got to look for Naija. Where is Naija? Um, you got to love this, right? This is only... It happens in... Uh, when it's live, right? So, Miss JJ, I need your help here. You need your technical assistant. I'm trying to add. I just see a little bit of viewers. I don't see everyone on here. Uh, how do I find her? So, let me see. No. Let me see if Miss JJ can give me some uh, tips on how to do that. Because usually I just see the person on top. So, let me see if I can just click on her name. And let's see. 
Oh, I did it. I think I did. wait for Miss Naija to join. I think she's almost there. Mira, ponte video. You can't be on there just a picture. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I here we go. We can all hear you. Yeah, let me see. There you go. Can you see me? Uh, no, I see a picture like that. There you go. There you go. There you <laughs> go. How are you? We're both new at this. Uh, but so, yeah, it, it goes with the age. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you turn 30, things get weird, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so, yeah, there's a little delay. Is there? Okay. It's the it's the Florida Wi-Fi. That's what it got to be because of the... It, of the let the, me tell you. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But thank you for being on the show. Um, it's weird because, you know, we're close friends. <laughs> So it's like, I could just call you on FaceTime and do this, but you know, the fans want to see you, right? Um, I definitely wanted to see you today. It's a special day. Number one on iTunes. How do you feel? Um, I feel fantastic, but um, I'm still hearing you like, I'm hearing you twice. So I don't know if it's my phone or see right um, now, I just got your question about iTunes. Um, really? <laughs> Yeah. Right. Uh, let me try something. Hold on. Okay. Let me see if I know how to mess around with this. Because I don't. I'm not gonna. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't want to block you. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Um, <laughs> Did they give you an option to, to to come out and come back in? Okay. Let me see if that works. I can always invite you again. The sound is dropping. Yeah, we're both on Wi-Fi. Okay, someone's... Uh... <laughs> Look at Michael. Michael always got something to say. Instead of hooked on phonics, it's hooked on TikTok. Yep. <laughs> Mike, why are, you, why are you wearing a suit on TikTok, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Is it still delayed and echoey or no? Yeah. Um, Is JJ help? <laughs> That's our technical assistant. <laughs> JJ, what, what are you doing? Stop laughing and help. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we not pay you for? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, look, I'm gonna I, now. I know how to take you. I'm gonna take you off and request you again. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, sometimes you got to go off and come back on. Thank you, Denine. So you're gonna be a pro when I put you on, right, Denine? <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me get her back on. Because I got to figure out how to find it for my. There we go. Invite. Let's try it again. It's got to be the hurricane. No, I'm just kidding. It'll connect using audio only. No, you won't. Oh, oh. Video. Yeah. oh what? Where'd it go? Okay. I love it. You can hear everything, right? She's in the toilet, <laughs> the toilet flushes, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me good now? I hear you fine. Can you hear me fine? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so we seem to be on tune now. So we're good now, right? We're good? We're good? Yeah. Okay. See, Everyone can hear us good? I should have took the deal with Netflix. This would have been such a better experience. You know. I'm an idiot. You, you, you live and learn. <laughs> 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 All right. So let's bring it back. Um, you know, I know it's, you know, we talked about it being a special day, but how did it feel? Because back in the day, there was no iTunes. Right, all those records, CDs, cassettes, but it's great to see your song at number one. How does that make you feel? Because this is this is uh, the way music business is now is digital. Yes, and um, honestly, you remember when Now and Forever first came out, and uh, it was played on Hot ninety seven, and mm -hmm. I was driving home on FDR and almost crashed because I heard it on the radio. Um, yeah, that kind of like felt like that <laughs> when I woke That's up awesome. this morning. Um, awesome. It's been a while, and it's it's great to see um, the support and to see uh, a lot of talent that went into the song uh, being recognized like that. It's it's amazing, right? Because I, you know, how I sent you guys. I didn't I didn't think Martin was going to tell you that I texted him at one in the morning. I just I didn't want to text directly, so I sent him a WhatsApp, and all of a <laughs> sudden, like, 
oh shoot, they're up, and I felt so bad. But I was oh, so, no, we were up. Uh, I was so proud because um, I couldn't sleep, and I'm like, let me check iTunes. I checked at 12:08, and nothing, you know, updated. I'm like, damn it. So at one <laughs> o'clock, I'm like, oh, and my wife is sleeping. I'm like, I can't celebrate. <laughs> It felt great, but, and 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 it felt great that you were the one that messaged us uh, to let us know uh, that that it was out there, that you know it was at number one, yeah. and you know it, it just it was it was it was a good feeling. It still is. Absolutely, you know? I liked working with the Santana Twins, and and you know it took a long time to get the song done because we started the song before COVID hit. Wow. And then we couldn't get anyone, everyone together. We had to, just when we thought the song was done, Sapphire heard it. And she was like, wait, let me jump on this. And and I was like, yeah, <laughs> we'll hold production. Just come in there and do your thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the twins are very busy. They fly all over the world. So you have to wait. You've got to work on their time. And that, that was great. That, it was worth the wait. Well, it was an amazing job across the board because, I listen, you know me, I'm t I'm more on the technical side of production. Mm -hmm. Quality was great. The drums, I loved. You know, I love when I hear a nice beat, but the drum sound's got to be on point, and it was. You know, and I've always said the Santana Twins always motivate me to do better music, right? Like, mm -hmm. when I hear something good, I'm like, oh, man, I got to I gotta get in the mix with that. And um, yeah. they're definitely inspirational, very talented, and you did a great job on the vocals, and you, the you. way you sang the song, like, my wife was in you know, a little while ago playing it. She's like, I got to play it again. I got to play it again. I got to play it again. <laughs> so, that's, well, if that's, Cynthia's feeling that way, then hey. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, it, was, it was funny because when we, when we first went in to do the, the vocals, um, I was a little apprehensive about the song. Um, oops. Sorry. Got my, my feet tangled up in the wires here. And uh, I was like, well, are you, are you sure the song is okay? Is she, I mean, this would be the third song I did with uh, the Santana Twins. And uh, they were like, yeah, just, just sing it like you. Forget everybody else. Forget how everybody else sounds or what you think we want to hear. You just do you. Uh, yeah. think, of what, think of what you're trying to address in a song. And that's, that was all I needed to hear because I just thought of a lot of different things that fit uh, the lyrics of the song at that point. Yeah. And, you know, and then, and then hence the little explicit uh, version. It's all right. That's the trend now, right? <laughs> hey, if, if they can get away with it in other genres, why not us? I, I was just a little shocked because you never curse. <laughs> I can't even say that with a <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not on camera, right? I'm like, someone else did that. That couldn't have been her. No, no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I think George Anthony was in the studio that day. When I did that, that, uh, that little thing there. What did, he say? did he even hear you do it or was he on the phone? On, uh, mm -hmm. on, on, I think he, he heard, I think he heard me do it. <laughs> <laughs> but before we continue, I want to say congratulations to you. Why? Grandpa. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I think that's a beautiful thing. It would have been nice Grand if you would have named Asia, right? It would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. I don't think I've heard of anyone named Niasia. No, it's funny. I, have I meet people 16. that they name their kids Niasia. When I meet fans, they go, oh, my daughter's name is Niasia. I'm like, wow. Yeah, I've met Willie a whole Valentine. bunch. I haven't met any little Willie Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> I've met a whole bunch, and it's, it's, it's very... Um, humbling to hear when they say, oh yeah, my mom named me after you, or my dad mm -hmm. told my mom to name me after you, and so it's it's funny, but it's nice that, to see. That's a cool story. The weirdest story I ever got by meeting fans' kids is, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a weird story. so I met a, a, this guy at a show, and he goes, yo, I'm a big fan, been listening to you, but little, yeah, I think you hit my, you hit my mom up once, I, like, you hit her, uh, you know, like, a, like, like I messed with his mom. I'm like, uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Sw I remember you coming to my house. You went into the room. I'm like, no. <laughs> that's well. That's that's horrible. <laughs> and then he's so proud of it too. Yeah, you did. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, that's that's kind of disturbing. <laughs> I know you wouldn't do stuff like that. Appreciated a name. I would have appreciated the name. Not if his name was Willie Valentine, I would have been all right. But I didn't give <laughs> Did him he look a like you? <laughs> huh? Did he look like you? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just Asian. saying, you know, he was Asian and short. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, so this record is a great. Why don't we do this? Well, let's play the new record, and we're going to come back and talk a little bit about the album because I know you did a podcast on CPR's um, Clubhouse on on the 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 message, the story behind the song. Um, mm -hmm. You don't have to go to the store, but I want to talk about that so people can go check out the podcast. For that okay. and i want to talk a little bit about the album when we come back sounds good definitely yeah all right so let me plug this back in this is so amateurish netflix i'm sorry <laughs> netflix i'm sorry <laughs> netflix i'm sorry <laughs> Now on iTunes, Amazon, download it. Make sure you keep it number one. Walk away by my Asia. to the old school mixes with the break beats, the hard hitting drums. Yes. Love it. 1018 mix. Naija, walk away. Get it now.
guys, you gotta love this. DJ's gotta love this. You can mix right into this record right here. You still got a minute and a half left of drums. <laughs> gotta be careful they're gonna sample that for another record and come out with it right here <laughs> stop doing that djs or producers <laughs> walk away niasia oh my god it, it's funny it's i love it because we started in, the, in this industry and we when we heard a new song we would tell everybody about it we play it in our car we go to a club and be like oh this is the song and now we have another one of those records. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You. Can you hear me? Thank you. Yes. Awesome, Thank awesome. you. Wow, but I, you know, it's great to listen to that song. And um, it's a new song that we can all enjoy. We got to make it last, though. The fans need to support this, not just play it on their playlist for a month and then say, yeah, where's yes. the new Niaja? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I, think, uh, I think the fans have been very very um understanding very supportive of all this new stuff that's coming out you know tr they're trying hard at least some of the fans that i've spoken to have are trying to like you know stay away from the negativity and just yeah just bring out the positivity in what this is which is just making music you know it's not a competition with anyone it's not who's the best producer who's the best singer that no it's just trying to keep this music alive that, you know, we fell in love with it, you know, when we first heard it. I Like I always said, I never knew nothing about freestyle until I met you. Um, I The first person I ever heard on the radio uh, was Judy Torres. Yeah. And, and then uh, and that night that I met you at 4Ds when Stevie B was performing. And I was like, who's that? And what kind of music is that? You know, <laughs> and then it just... <laughs> Yeah. I had no idea. And look, 30, what, 30, almost 32 years later. You can't believe we were, three years, we were like three, four years old when we met. <laughs> About that time. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's been a long road. I know you've got an album. Is it almost, I mean, I know I, I just sent you the masters for my songs that, you know, you waited like 10 years for. Um, <laughs> um, do well you have worth everything? the wait. I'm glad. Oh, I, I'm so happy. Um, do you have everything you need or are you still waiting on some tracks for that album? We're still waiting on some stuff. Um, right now I'm at the point that I'm not sure if everything's going to be added only because I just want to, I want to hurry up and get this done, but I, I don't want to rush it, but you know, people, people have things going on in life and you know, you have to be understanding of what their availability is. Um, so I'm just, I'm really, really, really like with all my heart, I'm just really ready for them to hear what, what we did. Yeah. That is what I'm excited about. That's like the, the culmination of all these past 32 years. Uh -huh. And, and that's, that's what I'm excited about, you know, and that's about it. I mean, we have like, I don't know, like. Maybe how many songs we, we were doing? Like there, I think there was like three other songs that I had. Yeah. yeah, like three other songs that I had um, demoed. We're not sure at this point if we're gonna continue with the songs or not. But you know, I, I leave it in God's hands, and whatever He feels it's for me, that's that's what'll happen. Okay. Good. Good. I mean, I'm excited for it. Um, excited and also. Don't want the day to come, and I'll tell you why. Because yeah. I think you said this is going to be your last album. That you know, that's hard mm -hmm. to hear. You know, and I and I get it. You know, everything comes to an end, um, and you know, I, I've seen it from the beginning, and I'm glad yeah. to. You know, this is the thing. I, you know, we were part of the together the beginning, and I'm glad to be a part of the final album. That feels good. Um, yeah. So. You know, it's you get mixed feelings. I'm very proud of you, and I'm I'm happy for you, and I'm excited for you because we're not gonna let that album die out anytime. When it comes out, we're gonna push it, push it, push it. Um, yeah. You know, 
Just give me the masters. If I have to do some club mixes, I'll edit some club mixes together because we got to make sure the DJs play the stuff. And, oh, definitely. Uh, we can stress the song out for a good eight years, I think. <laughs> hey, uh, how long did the original come out? It was like, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, yeah. what, 30 years? But, um, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. And it's like, uh, you know, the reason why Walk Away um, was when I heard the song, it just instantly clicked in my head in my head because you know you're an artist we have a lot of artists here we have JD we have Tito we have Deneen we have all these other artists that are on here that have been through this from the beginning they've been 30 plus years of artists as well so they know the ups and downs of this music industry you know you have to have hard skin you have to have thick skin you have to let stuff roll off of you like water because if not, you know, you just shrink into a little bubble in a corner and you just, you know, yeah. disappear. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're willing to stick it out, you got to know when to say, okay, enough is enough. And um, it's it's time to let the stress be on somebody else's shoulders. Um, you know, it's been many years and I've enjoyed, oof, I mean, I've gone to Brazil twice. Awesome. My fans out there, I love them. It's like a different breed out there. Um, I've traveled the United States, and that's stuff that I didn't, I didn't think was going to happen. You know, when you when you told me, oh, you got picked up by Micmac, and I was like, okay, is that good? <laughs> I didn't know. You were like, uh, you know, Cynthia, Johnny O, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I still didn't know the impact of, of what that meant back then. You I know? remember you came to me, you took me to the kitchen, and you were like, guess what? I'm like, what? I got a, I got a record deal. I'm like, well, who are you? Say, well, Mic Mac. I'm like, I've been trying for years. <laughs> <laughs> but that was so awesome because our inner circle got a record deal, you know? Yeah. And, you know, it, it felt great because it didn't just continue from there. And then it was George. And then, uh, you know, I had a deal with Honor Roll. Then later on, Jordan Mic Mac. But it, you, you sparked it off. You know, so I had to use your name just to get signed, but I, I'll, I'll do that again. <laughs> yeah, but I sparked it off. You know why? Because you and Michael pushed me and you guys made me do that audition for that for that uh, manager that we won't mention. Yeah. But you guys pushed me to do that that audition and um, it took off from there. So, you know, that was that was that was your fault. <laughs> and so he should take you and Michael should take all the glory for that. Um, so yeah, at that point, I didn't understand the impact um, of of what that meant of being signed to Make Mac. Um, I didn't know, you know, differences between labels and what artists were on what labels. I just know that I liked the sound. I just know that I liked to hear the music, and I liked going to the shows to see these people perform. Um, yeah. I didn't know, you know, it was like, like, you know, it wasn't anything I wanted to do. I, I, I turned, I, I came out as a dancer for you, mm -hmm. you know, and then from there it, it happened. If I hadn't been there four D's and went to see Stevie B perform, I would have never met you. And this would have never happened, you know? So, and, and, and it's only fitting that the, the end journey ends with you and, and Michael, because you guys are the ones who, who started me off, who put me there to dance for you. And, you know, it full circle, like you said. And it was great. You know, we, we, you know, I also got to look at, like, I didn't, I was the most shyest person in the world. Um, oh my God. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> just getting the confidence from you, you know, Mike, Mike just never had any hesitation, whether he can At dance. All. He was like, I'm down. I'll do this. And, you know, he I, did I, did not have, care. I did not have that, you know, but just you guys supported me just to get on stage. I always wanted to do it, but I was scared. So, you know, I, you know, we all did something to help each other out back then. Um, whether we thought about it, we, we were just in the mix and we were just doing right. stuff that was fun. But it's um, it was collaborative and I'm proud of everyone. Mike, you... George, uh, with touch, you know, we Look at we you, were in the beginning. Your record of label, you know, yeah. I, this is uh, I know this is something you've always 
you've always dreamt of being in the music industry, whether singing or, or uh, you know, I remember you used to edit the show tapes and yeah. and all that stuff. And watching you do that, like I talked to my husband about it all the time. I was like, I used to see Willie sit there with that razor blade and a tape and there was crap all over the floor. Oh, when I had five fingers? Yeah, I remember. Oh, man. <laughs> <That was best. laughs> and I was like, how do they even know where they're cutting and what's going to what it's going to sound like afterwards? And I, I never understood how the hell you got that shit done. And, um, you know, you there always had YouTube. the passion. I don't know how we learned. I don't I don't me and Michael just without played. YouTube. I don't know how we did anything without the Internet. <laughs> yeah, especially driving. Oh, God, let's not go there. <laughs> OK, <laughs> we won't bring no. up that part. <laughs> Going back to the album. So I know it's you don't have you're still waiting on some elements for it. When do you anticipate a 2023 release? Um, yes, most likely for the for the for the final final. I know. Am I? It's a, is it okay to say about the uh, AB? B A A B. Uh, it's up to Will. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> up to Willie. Um. So you know. Yeah. You know with what we're gonna do with uh with the next two singles. Um that one's gonna be a vinyl double sided A and B side. Um and it's gonna have the two songs on it. Um You don't wanna say it? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, should be okay, it's gonna be the because we re-recorded now forever vocals and music and Willie whew, Willie went Above and beyond, when I say that he he took all the elements of the original uh, Now and Forever, but he made it artistic uh, with all the original elements. If you guys could even picture that, um, so that's going to be the A the A side, and the B side is going to be the remake of Who's Got Your Love re-recorded. Um, so and that's going to be vinyl, full vinyl, and it's going to be awesome. So I'm, I'm that package. I'm so excited. Uh, to get done already. Awesome. I got to give props to Michael Anthony because, you know, on the now and forever, he was here the whole time and he put a Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I got to, you know, it's going to say produced by me and Mike because it's an all-in production. You know, we call it yeah. the Chelsea Project because he, let me tell yeah. you, Mike is so enthusiastic. Like, he has, throw this in there, throw this in there, throw this in there. Yep. He goes, take that out, take that out, take that out. Like, he'll try things and if he says, you know what, it's whack, take it out. But I got to appreciate that because that's what we used to do back in the days. Now everything's all rush, rush, rush. Mike won't let me rush anything. I'll tell you that much. Mike be like, no, yeah. slow down. You know? Yeah. And, and, it's, I, and I, I, I remember when we were there recording uh, Now and Forever, I remember him sitting next to you because we were sitting behind you guys when we were listening. And I remember him, you could see his head just moving like this. And, and he's like, like in his head, he had this whole thing already Ahead of what we were listening to. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, Michael's coming up with something. And the fact, and and I and I want my our viewers to know, um, the original Now and Forever was it was not called Now and Forever. Mm -hmm. It was called With One Touch when Michael wrote it. So Now and Forever used to be the bridge going into the chorus, which was with one touch. And when, you know, it's it's like when you get, when you buy um, candy or milk or whatever, and by the time it gets to you, it's so processed because all these different things are added and taken out, whatever. It's never the original thing. Uh, so right. that's what happened with, with Now and Forever. Um, and the, the, um, the props weren't, rightfully given to to Willie Valentine which you know should have been from from day one and and I'm so that, that's another reason I'm so happy uh that this is you know ending with you guys because you finally get to get the props that you deserve you and Michael and <clears throat> I did it with my brothers that I did it in the beginning with yeah. so yeah, so then they, you know, we were sitting down collaborating, and then we were like, I think it was you or Michael, one of you had said, oh, we should bring in the original uh, chorus. So I'm, I'm so excited for people to, people to hear that because it's never been heard. Yep, 
I heard it 10 times yesterday. Yeah, I heard it <laughs> lots of times yesterday too. So, um, yeah, and even when my son heard it, you know, I give it to Anthony for him to hear. <clears throat> and he was like, that's dope, Ma. That's dope. <laughs> awesome. So, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited about that. But very quickly, getting back to um, Walkway. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Nick Cologne and the Santana Twins for writing the song. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Sapphire and Kenny for the background vocals. And, you know, big shout out to my husband. Because this whole project was his idea. You know, I was like, eh, okay, we did time. Let's leave it at that. And then we're in Manny's house. It seems like when, every time we go to Manny and Jenny's house, I don't know what's in that house, but <laughs> you, you, you want to end up recording when you're there. Yeah. And, and, you know, him and Manny were talking. We're like, oh, yeah, you should do this album. You should, you know, finish it off with an album. And I was like, oh, Jesus, Lord, really? Seriously? <laughs> I'm done. And they were like, no, just a few more songs. <clears throat> but a couple of years ago, Jenny and Manny and I were, you know, we had been discussing, we were in New York and we were discussing how, you know, it would be great to have you produce now forever. Remember, we called you from New York City and we were like, so Willie, <laughs> we had this idea and I think you should do it. And and look at look at what happened. It was just, it was kidding it was, me. It was funny. I, I remember we were going to do uh, Now and Forever. I remember you guys came over to the house, and I was talking to Paradise, I'm, to Martin. And I'm like, uh, he goes, oh, we, we, we're looking for someone to do the uh, Who's Got Your Love. And, and I was like, let's just do it now. <laughs> he just started doing yep. it. And yeah. we stood up, and he was like, are you serious? <laughs> but, uh, it was cool. I, I, yeah. Yeah, because it's it's things like that that happen without without it being um, uh, what is it practiced or planned and things like that. Spontaneous things, spontane spontaneity to me is always something that it to me works so much better than something that's planned. Just like time. Yeah, just like when we recorded time, <clears throat> yeah. we were there just to hang out and. Jay Adams happened to be there, and Manny again was like, uh, "Yeah, Jay Adams is here. Why don't you just start a rec uh, recording now?" And I was like, "Okay." So we did the song half an hour. Jenny and I and and Manny and Jay wrote it, and and it was done. And it was a great song. It was. I love that. It is not was. It is. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I, I love that song. And but now and forever, you know, people always ask me, "What are your favorite songs?" And they're going to say, I know you're going to say Now and Forever and whatever. And yeah, Now and Forever has always been my favorite song because it's such a beautiful song. Uh, the words are beautiful, but the, the strings, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a sad, beautiful song. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's always going to be my baby, of course, because that's the first song I ever did. And, and then I said, okay, now my second favorite would be Rectify. And then... I did time and I was like, okay, so time trumps rectify. And then I'm like, and then I reheard the masters for now forever. I was like, ah, now nah, forever took top again. <laughs> now forever will always be the yeah. song for me. Yeah. I can't uh, wait for you for everyone out there to hear it. I remember when I heard um uh, I'm the one is it called? I'm the one? Yeah. Yeah. I was at Mickey's office. And that's when I was starting the whole the whole thing with the artistic. And he plays these songs for me like he doesn't know that I know you. I'm like, and I said I said your real name. I'm like that's not. He was like, you know her? I'm like, yeah, I know her. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he said I didn't think anybody knew. I'm like, I know who that is. He was like, oh, <laughs> like he was trying you to see if I liked it. You know, I was like, Come on. yeah, it's one of my. And I hate saying this, and my husband hates that I say it. Um, it's one of my least favorite songs. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I just felt like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's because years later, you know, you grow. Either you grow vocally or something yeah. in you changes from, from performing so much. You start hearing things differently or, you know, just having different ideas. And I just... 
I just think the the you know the album because now forever and who's got you love was out and they were both hot and who's got you love had crossed over to pop in San Jose California and you know strike why the iron is hot type of thing and they you know rushed out the album. Um, but yeah, it's it's I, it's not one that I highly favor. But every time we I go to do the shows and I perform it and I hear everybody sings it singing it and I look at my husband he's like giving me that I told you so look he's like I told you you gotta sing the song uh so yeah that's but it's my mom's favorite oh that's awesome <laughs> that's yeah. cool go figure <laughs> <laughs> well I want to play more music but I want to keep talking to you also <laughs> but um <laughs> Let's make sure that the fans know where to find you. Talk, let, let's mention your website where they can get you. Have, you have merch also, and you have a. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a CD single for this for this new song. Yes, um, in a couple of weeks we will have a CD single. Right now it's just uh, for download, yep. uh, not streaming yet. Although someone did go out into YouTube today and, and uploaded the songs on YouTube. Uh, thanks, uh, but. <laughs> What are you gonna do? You can you can, uh, you can cut that down real quick. That happened to me in my last release, and right away I took it down. It took it like not even five minutes and it took it down. Yeah, so. I we yeah we were notified by a friend of mine in California. Yeah, and I was like, gosh, people let let it let it marinate before you go and send it out there to the world. But you know whatever. But yes, you can go to um. What what am yeah, I? Naisha dot net. <laughs> Is my is my website? You know that's why I have my husband here because he always says, you know, if I wasn't around, you'd forget your own name. It's true. <laughs> Naija .net for the merch. Um, you know, you can find me on Naija um, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. It's all the same thing. It's Naija Music or Naija Freestyle. Um, it's pretty common. You know, just it's not common, but it's pretty easy to find me. Um, and that's about it as far as my uh, my socials go. But what I'm going to do is this for the fans who are listening right now. I'm going to do a little contest. I'm going to buy you the new Niaja single. I'm going to buy it for you, but you got to do something. You're going to send me an email to willyvalentine at gmail.com. That's easy, right? You guys got that? No, there's no E in Valentine. Willyvalentine at gmail.com, one word. And this is what you got to do some, some research here. I need you to send me the writers for the first song now and forever and for the second song who's got your love the first one to send me the right answer i'm gonna i'm gonna purchase the cd single for you how'd that sound okay <laughs> all don't right give let's me a see discount you better charge research. me right up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> let's see who's gonna do the research yep all right that's the contest i'm gonna repeat it again I need you to send me an email to willyvalentine at gmail.com. Mike, you can't do that. Um, <laughs> with <laughs> the writers of the first two songs of Naija for Now and Forever and for Who's Got Your Love. First one to send me that right answer. I'm going to purchase a CD as soon as it's available. So don't think I'm going to buy it. You're going to get it tomorrow because it's not out yet. But I will buy it for <laughs> you. <laughs> uh oh, she style says she has the vinyl. I know someone's saying, I, I got to pull out the vinyl. I mean, you can just go to, like, discogs.com, and that's easier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I but it's the first one that emails him. That's right. And with the right answer, right spelling, everything. I don't want, oh, you missed an A, you missed a U, you missed an E, whatever. I, uh, spell it right. Yep. Copy, paste. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So I'm going to I'm gonna play your song one more time uh, right after this. And I just, again, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. And, um, again, we're all so proud. Everyone on here is so proud of you. We love the record. Um, and thank let's you. continue making it number one. Keep it number one for as long as possible. And even if it's number two, who cares? It's still on the charts. <laughs> yes, definitely. Definitely. Thank you. All thank right. you. So we look forward to the next release. Um, of course, space it out. And um, let's, you know, make this a hit for 2022 and uh, prepare for that album, everybody. It's coming, Naija. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, honey.
Shout out to Juan Too Big Perez in the house. Black Tea Crew. Mamacita Margarita. It's available on iTunes right now, Amazon, I think Beatport. I don't have Beatport, so, but I know it's on Beatport. Hey, Lucy. You can't deny those drums. gmail.com with the writers of Naija's first two songs Now and Forever Who's Got Your Love Meet the Name of the Writers and you're going to win a CD of this hot track right here Thank you Naija I want to call you real name but you know I can't
About this song so i remember when manny first told me that we'd be doing this record uh, i'm just gonna keep it 100 right here so um the original i know was about laissez faire i was never a fan of and i'm sorry to say that i just wasn't i'm like when he told me i was like oh okay now i love this record so jenny thank you for doing this record and making me fall in love with it so now that's one of my favorite records <laughs> all right we're gonna go into a new one here First time playing here on this show, Julio Mena hits the soul. Let me know what you think. This just came out a few weeks ago. The way I touch you, caress you. I love the smell of your body. And when you let me inside. I make you hot. I got you ready to explode. 
That's Julio Mena hits the soul. It's funny. I heard the clip of it, and I instant messaged Julio. I said, yo, I love this record. And he was like, oh, thank you. It's coming out in, at the end of September, and it's out. So make sure you go support this um, on iTunes, Amazon, Beatport. Um, if you're a streamer, um, if you use Spotify, Apple Music, you can get it there also. Uh, before I go into the next song, uh, while I have you guys on here, I want to say thank you again for joining the show and hanging out with me again the, for the third episode. Um, I just want to real quick talk about a fan. I got a, a, a message from a fan the other day and talking about uh, another fan who's a big freestyle supporter, big freestyle fan. Um, his real name is Vasilos uh, Sotorupolos. I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, he goes by Billy, right? And um, he's on Facebook. And his Instagram is Original Thief of Hearts. And the reason I wanted to talk about this gentleman is because um, this gentleman is in need um, of a, um, excuse me, a kidney transplant. If I'm correct, I just want to make sure I have the right um, information. Um, yeah, he needs a, a kidney transplant. And, um, you know, I, I definitely want to support the fans, you know. Um, he's in desperate need of one. And... You know, if you're a type O positive, O, O, O negative, you can be, um, you know, you can be a, a, a donor if you're willing to do so. So, again, um, if you're O positive, O, O, O negative blood type, um, and he really needs a kidney right away, um, the original thief of hearts at, um, at gmail.com also. So the original, oh, excuse me, thief of hearts co at gmail.com so it's thief of hearts co at gmail.com reach out to him his name is billy um i would love to help him out and that can be that can be you know something that we can accomplish for him hey that'd be great so if you're a donor and you're willing to donate i mean to you know to donate your kidney or you know someone that might want to do that let's support him he's a freestyle fan billy man we wish you all the luck in the world. I'm going to put, uh, when I post this on YouTube, I'll have that information on there. But I did not want to, you know, finish the show off without mentioning that. So, Billy, our hearts are with you. We're praying for you. And we hope a donor is found. Um, at um, He's also on TikTok, at Original Thief of Hearts. So, hit him up on TikTok, at the at sign, Original Thief of Hearts. All right, Billy. God bless you, man. It's hard to go into music, right, when you talk about that. But, you know, it's important that we also, you know, that the uh, fans support the artists, and we got to support you guys as much as possible. And I'm hoping that will make the difference. All right? So we're going to continue on with some m uh, more music. And this next song is dedicated to Billy. Love this track right here. Spanish Lullaby, TKA, TRL, rest in peace, CNR. DJ MDW. What's up, brother? Available now. TKA TRL Spanish Lullaby. Produced by Kenny Diaz. There was a time I felt your love meant more to me than life itself. When you rise, we Nothing can compare to what you meant for us. Nothing can be truer than a kiss from you. Now you tell me that you wanna go away. Crying like a bird that's lost its wing. I dare to say, my love is lost away.
All right, TKA TRL Spanish Lullaby. Uh, we're going to play one more track and then we're going to go in back into the uh, new school mega mix and then we're out for today. And uh, don't forget, next Monday, another show happening. We got a uh, special guest for that night. Until they confirm, I won't announce it. But the 17th, we're going to have Deneen. Um, and then on the 24th, we're going to have Jesse B. So make sure you, you know, put the alerts on and let everybody know. New Music Mondays with Willie Valentine on TikTok. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this show as well. Um, just a friend. Thank you for joining. First time. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. So. Um, we're going to go into one more song and then a mega mix and um, good night. Again, special thanks to everybody who joined us tonight, especially Niasia for that great interview. I had a lot of fun. We always have a, a lot of fun. and we, we, It was actually toned down because when we all hang out, me, her, Martin, and Mike, you know, we, we, we bug out. You know, like we're like, you know, we're going back to 1988 <laughs> at that time. So, all right. So let's go into one more song. Again, thank you. And uh, you guys have a great night. Um, I will email the winner because I can't check my email. It's on that phone that's playing. So don't worry about it. I got you. If you're the first, you will hear from me. All right. And don't forget, if you want a hat like this, go to artisticrecordings.com. Artistic with a K. It's right there. Artisticrecordings.com. Thank you, MDW. Um, and guys, have a great night. And uh, I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Yo, Zangies, love you like wow, so make sure you get this as well. Hot new freestyle on Fever Record. I'm not one for second chances for you, I had to try. Never got over losing you all the way we said goodbye. Somehow you're back in my life. Take the chance, I won't lose you twice this time. I'm gonna love you for a lifetime. When even the time you weren't mine, just know that I still care. Have in you back in my life, I can't take the chance. I won't lose you twice this time. I'm gonna love you for a lifetime.
Monday, I made for new music. New music Mondays, every Monday on TikTok. Six-minute mega mix. I'll play it, and I'm gonna leave you with this. Now, I'm not as good as you at all, brother. Let's get this party started. Hey, yo, you're now listening to the sounds of Mixmaster Willie Valentine. Take me up. 